uh, lions. And she's got blood on her face by the looks of things. And it looks like there's a dead buffalo with cubs. <laughs> Poor Taylor's been tracking them forever. And we just happened upon them. So obviously they were successful in their buffalo hunting last night. Um, let me just call it in on the radio and I'll try to find a spot to get in a bit closer. Located in Gorma's Ooh, grumpy. Look at that. That could explain why there are no leopards around here, Vim. Stanley White Tax. Okay. They've got a Nyari here, um, just to the south of the dam wall. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get in. I can see there's cubs, there's one lion here, but I'm sure there's some more around. Let's, I think we can get in through there to get behind. I'd love to say it was, of course, pure skill that VM and I found in the lions, but I, I mean, I have to go with pure luck. Uh, literally, we've just been looking um, out to the Kingfisher, and we're going to go down towards where the last type of sort of leopard audio was. So this is definitely not one of the old Duggar boys we've seen them hunting recently. This is a buffalo cow, so from a big breeding herd. That's possibly why we saw a section of that herd on Philemon's cut line. There's another section elsewhere. So here it is. I saw a third lioness as well. There we go. So, little cubby's getting stuck in. Now, the Inkahumas have been incredibly successful over the last while at hunting buffalo. Oof, look at that. If looks could kill, <laughs> ears flat. And uh, Jacob's wondering, how often do lions need to make a kill? Well, it completely depends often on what the kill is, Jacob. Uh, but normally every two to three days. Um, but with bigger kills like buffalo, they can sort of, even one a week or two a week will be fine. 